How to write a blog post without writing. Hi, I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly that. How to write a blog post without writing. Hi, I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly that. So the very first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be setting the timer and uh, I'm gonna be going over to writer, all right? So let's start. So the very first thing I wanna do is to enter in exactly what I want to uh, discuss about. But before I do that, I need a topic. So let me go ahead and type in, uh, let's see, how to uh, make home remedies. Right. Oops, spelled the wrong. Remedies. There we go. And here are the questions. What are homemade remedies? Let's check this out. What are the best natural remedies? All right. So these are what people are asking. Let me go ahead and copy this and paste it into here. And I just click right for me. And I'm going to let it load in real time so you can see how long it takes. It doesn't take that long at all. all right. And there you go. You have 78 words. And let me just read it real quick. One of the most effective homemade remedies is a mixture of orange and lemon juice. This mixture can be used to treat scurvy, thinning hair, and other vitamin deficiencies. Another interesting homemade remedy is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has been found to be effective in treating bacterial infections. It's very much readable. It doesn't sound like it's been spun. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's it's written by, um, you know, outsourced by s someone else in another country, right? It looks like it's written by a native speaker. And if you simply want to, you know, make, add more to it, you just highlight a sentence and you can expand this sentence, you can shorten it, you can rephrase it, and uh, you can add a few more words to the end of the sentence, or you can add a paragraph, and this is what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm just gonna click paragraph, wait for it to do its magic. All right, right now it's at currently at 78 words, and boom, there you go, another 150, uh, it's now 154 words. And then it added, um, Mixing one tablespoon of cinnamon, cinnamon with a tablespoon of honey can be very soothing to someone who is experiencing a sore throat. The warmth from the cinnamon will help you, uh, your throat relax, while the sweetness from the honey will soothe your throat. And let's say you need more, you just keep going. I can, I can, you know, keep going and and add another paragraph if I wanted to. So let's go with uh, another paragraph. So I highlight this and you know click paragraph and wait for it to write another section and there we go All right, the fatty acids found in honey are said to be effective in re reducing inflammation this means that as soon as you mix the two ingredients together your your sore throat will be much better not only that but it also but it also has a calming effect on people which makes them drowsy all right and, and then you know you get the idea so just within let's check out the time let's do a time check three minutes all right with me explaining, it's a lot quicker if I didn't explain, I just did it. Uh, you got 274 words. So, you know, a lot of people are worried about like writer's block or, you know, you know, when you, whenever you're, you have a blog post, you have to, you know, constantly, constantly, or blog, you have to constantly create uh, content, right? Otherwise, you know, your, your blog authority won't be built up. Uh, you won't be able to get links and so on and so forth. So, a lot of people struggle with that, and this is, you know, this is, you know, an fail-safe solution. So I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description below. This is absolutely free, okay? So you can go ahead and, and try. There's a lot of like uh, clones, so you got to be careful. I'm going to leave the the link, the right link, all right, <laughs> that takes you directly to this site. I don't want to, I don't want you to go to another site. Otherwise, they might like ask for your credit card or. Uh, you know, give you only a seven day trial and, and essentially ask you to pay, force you to pay. This one has a, uh, you know, absolutely free tier. And if you decide to upgrade, you have an unlimited tier. That's right. So you can, you can pump up a unlimited content, right? So 274 words. 
and just three minutes and this is just for a blog post right so let, let me just show you one more time um, I will let me show you the other functions I can expand so I can add a little bit more to this sentence right here alright so there you go it added a bit more or I can add some more to the end let me, let me uh, append it Wait for it to load. There you go. It added another sentence towards the end. Okay, and now I can take this appended uh, sentence. Oops. Let me see. The last part right here, and then I can add a, another paragraph. As you can see, the feature that I use the most most is paragraph, but you can also take a whole uh, another article and rephrase it. I prefer having something new. Uh, I don't like. Uh, I don't really like to rephrase another article because, you know, let's let's face it, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Google is smart, right? They they weren't they, they weren't born yesterday, and they can detect whether someone is uh, has just substituted a whole bunch of words. So it's better just to use this um, to, to create your content, right? And it's powered by AI, so you know you don't have to worry about human error, right? And a bonus tip for those of you who watch all the way through, this is the bonus tip, is you can combine this with another software called Grammarly. All right, let me type it in here real quick. Grammarly, all right, right here. So by combining Grammarly with uh, Writer, you get a pretty much um, well-written article that has very, very little grammar mistakes. Now, obviously, it's not as good as a human being, but it gives you the major uh, issues, right? So you can copy and paste it in here, and you can always set the uh, settings. Is it general, knowledgeable, expert, informal, neutral, formal, academic, business, general? And uh, then what's the intent? I think it's to inform, right? So then I click done, and, uh, you know, let's see. Let me just separate this a bit. So as you can see, it it found an error here. Okay, so has been found to be effective. You can just shorten it to is. There you go, and it changes it for you. And then they have a whole bunch of other errors that you can go ahead and you can correct. Now you have to use your best judgment, and you still, but it makes your life a lot easier, right? To proofread your own work. Um, Let's go to this one here, right? So it's missing a comma. Boom, boom, done. All right, this and right here, it needs a comma. Boom, done, all right? Uh, be helpful in maintaining, help maintain, all right? Boom, another comma mistake. And uh, let's see. You can just remove this word, all right? And then the rest is... You know, you have to upgrade to go premium. But look, uh, I I would recommend trying out the free the free tier first to see how you like it for a while. It gives you a score, uh, an overall score. It, you know, grades you based on several parameters: correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery. And I I personally would probably if you use if you pump out a lot of content. I would pro probably go with the premium because only because of two two added features. Um, one, you get a copy checker, right? Normally, if you use something like Copyscape, you have to like pay I think a few cents each time you you check. But with this unlimited, uh, with the premium version, you get an unlimited uh, plagiarism checker, right? That's very very helpful. And the other thing is you get a lot more, um, you got more a lot more information in your errors right so if you really want to up your quality of your writing right because if it's a blog post and it represents who you are and your brand you might want to improve the quality of your your blog post even though you don't have to you didn't have to write a word you still need to correct it right and that's that's the catch but i want to make things easy as possible and free as possible so i'm going to link, leave a link for both this Grammarly and Writer, so you you can go directly to it and try it out. Uh, for me, I've been using it now for a few weeks, and it works like a charm. But if you can if you can get premium, go ahead and and and, and get it. 
All right, so uh, if you're interested in Rider, I um, have a review on it in uh, my video. You can go check it out. I'll also leave a link in the description for you to check out the review. So I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Nomad, Digital Nomad Institute signing off.